Welcome to FOMO Consulting for your daily AMC stock analysis video on Tuesday, June 8th. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we were ape strong today. And I believe as well a gamma squeeze is very much in play. And as always, the apes are winning, the diamond hands are winning, and most importantly, the retail investor is winning. So if you find this video informative and entertaining, please like, share, certainly comment, and most importantly, subscribe. It is a newer channel, and I would appreciate the support. Let's get into the video. So as always, I would like to thank everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you. Start with a quote. Family is the anchor during rough waters. We are a family. We are a family of apes, a family of diamond hands. We are the FOMO family, right? We lean on each other for support. We look for uh, validation each and every day that we're in this play together. Uh, no doubt, uh, as the day started today, there was probably some rattled nerves. We'll get into that shortly, but we all support one another each and every day. So look at the broader market. So overall mixed, uh, pretty consolidated, very actually similar to how AMC ran today. Dow was down 31 points, NASDAQ up 43, S&P 0.72. So overall relatively flat, and as you can see by the heat map, uh, Amazon up, Apple up, Microsoft down, Google down, uh, just kind of across the board, just kind of consolidating. No big winners, no big losers, at least uh, on this chart. Well, let's look at crypto. So crypto overall time of this recording anyway is, you know, mixed, nothing too terribly bad, nothing terribly uh, negative or positive right now. Ethereum, that's time of this recording is up. Uh, Dogecoin is up just a little bit. Bitcoin down just a little bit. So overall, nothing too terribly bad. Just kind of in a consolidation period. Uh, nothing to worry about, in my opinion. So let's look at the distraction of the day. So Clove, uh, Wendy's, others were in the headlines. They all ran, uh, at least at the time of this recording, Clove uh, was up 39.6%. Wendy's, for whatever reason, 19.09%. This is where you always do your due diligence, right? Uh, know what you're investing in, know why you're buying it, what have you. So I'll let you look at the list of institutional owners. Look closely. Enough said. Kudos to the apes in Germany. Had a uh, relatively similar day as us, uh, very volatile. Had the same hard sell-off we had, as you can see. Uh, you know, from their time anyway, in the afternoon, no different than us. We are connected, like it or not. Uh, as they go, we go. Uh, certainly in the pre-market, you can watch it to a T. You can see how we move between the 4 and 6 a.m. area. But congratulations, holding strong in Germany. So let's look how we did today. We were up five cents. Uh, up after hours, at least at the time of this recording, 15 cent. It looks like it's running a little harder uh, as I'm speaking. But overall, a great day. I think it was a fantastic day. But let's talk about what happened. Obviously, uh, opening bell, uh, certainly pre-market, we were running up. Looked like we were going to have a fantastic day. We were up uh, over $3 at one point in time. And then the bottom fell out, right? They were up to their annex, uh, several hard sell-offs. No doubt to shake off the paper hands. And it worked. Then they did it again. Midday. Several just bleed offs. A couple hard falls. And then they did it yet again. Uh, towards the 3 p.m. hour. So these attacks are nothing new. If we, Some of us that have been in it for months and months and months. Uh, are very used to this. The newer investor. Uh, you are certainly learning. Uh, trial by fire, but these are all the tactics we are all used to. So let's look at what they did with GME. Interesting, right? Did the exact same thing. Tried to shake out paper hands, hard sell-offs. Uh, we are matched identical. Hard pump at the uh, opening bell, hard sell-off. Consolidation throughout the day. GME had itself a really good day, closed at 300. Uh, earnings are again tomorrow after uh, market close. Fantastic. We could see a fantastic day for GameStop. So let's look at this from a different perspective. So obviously, 
after hours uh, last night and pre-market this morning, we had the run-up, right, and then the hard sell-off. So we had the sell-off uh, after we had the nice, wonderful run-up. We thought today was going to be a fantastic day, mirror uh, last Tuesday, 100% day or whatever. Uh, disappointment, right? Shook out a lot of uh, paper hand investors, day traders, what have you. So let's look at this from a different angle. I took out the after hours and the pre-market. You can't tell where yesterday ends and today begins. That's precisely why taking a different look at things sometimes makes you feel better. So you can see, actually, we sold off hard yesterday from around 2 p.m. Uh, really to the close. And then for today, we certainly rebounded. But look at the green trend line I've drawn where we've bounced off of that, uh, essentially that illustrated trend line, and we found a new floor. Hard consolidation certainly bounced around that $52, $53 level multiple, multiple times today. Again, taking out pre-market and after hours uh, and combining the days together gives you a different perspective. So let's look at BlackBerry. Blackberry's chart looks familiar, right? Just like AMC. Costs, just like AMC. GME, just like AMC. And AMC again. See the similarities? They are doing this simultaneously, either through ETFs or other means and methods uh, to shake yourself. But if you look at the hard consolidation we found today, we found a floor around that $53, $54 level. They tried to force it down. We held ape strong. Again, when in doubt, zoom out. If you look at the 10 minute chart, look at the strong consolidation we have found in these upper levels. We are beautifully set up for another run. The RSI has now chilled off. Uh, MACD has actually kind of flattened out, not as volatile. We are beautifully set up for a second run. Again, MACD, calm down, RSI in neutral on the one hour chart today. Certainly, I think a bullish signal. From a bigger picture, when in doubt, zoom out, daily chart, alligator's mouth is absolutely wide open, moving average looks beautiful. MACD looks fantastic, and RSI, as you can see, has cooled off. We're still in bullish territory. So there's a famous Western with Clint Eastwood called The Outlaw Josie Wales. It's a fantastic movie. You should watch it if you've never seen it. In that movie, Clint is in a saloon, and a bounty hunter has been chasing him and shows up. Bounty hunter walks in the saloon, faces Clint, uh, Josie Wales. And Clint says, dying ain't much of a living. Bounty hunter stops and thinks about it, walks out of the saloon, about a minute passes, bounty hunter walks back in, faces Clint, and says, I had to come back. Clint says, I know. Then Clint proceeds to take him out with one shot. That is precisely the opponent we are dealing with, the opponent that cannot walk away, that cannot accept defeat, that cannot uh, allow the retail investor to win. So we are going to have to fight this person, these people, these institutions, till the last short share is squeezed. That is just how this is going to play out, in my opinion. SEC Moles GameStop AMC gamification crackdown with regulatory layer. As SEC Chair Gary Gensler eyes crackdown, Robin Hood could be in the firing line. Check it out. It's good art. GameStop earnings, lest I remind you, is tomorrow after hours. So why is that important? Let's see. So this is the last... Uh, earnings report for GameStop and everyone uh, for whatever reason had high hopes Ryan Cohen was going to 
dropped some fantastic news that there was a hard sell-off afterwards. Uh, earnings weren't bad. Actually, the online sales were fantastic, as a matter of fact, but there was a lot of buildup. And as you can see, especially after hours, next day, GameStop sold off hard. Well, why does that matter to AMC? Well, let's look. So same exact day, you can see what happened with AMC. It sold off hard, mirrored GameStop to a T. Uh, so as GME goes, AMC in many ways goes. So whether you're invested in GME or not, watch this closely. Root for GME, uh, support that community because uh, we are connected like it or not. So again, everyone's watching the naked short thing. Uh, news coming out. I know Matt had uh, uh, the attorney on today. Fantastic interview. Uh, we learn a lot each and every day, right? So again, as a reminder, SEC brings naked short selling case uh, against a broker dealer. Uh, read the article. It's fantastic. Uh, this will continue to evolve, but we are making uh, progress. We are certainly making a difference. So I believe AMC is following a very similar trend as GME uh, in their late February, early March run-up, uh, which would be very, very beneficial for AMC at this point. And if you look at the charts, they are following each other almost to a T. Certainly uh, on Tuesday of that run-up for GME, a 1.25% day, we had a 0.09% day. So essentially flat or small gain, right? Not a big deal. Where are we going? Who knows? We'll see. But you can certainly see on Wednesday, as I've shown below on the GME side, they had a 5% day on the Wednesday. If you also look, both of their volumes after that heavy spike, GME had a 103% uh, gain. We had our 95% gain last week. Look at the volume. The volume doesn't have to be extraordinarily high. Elevated, yes. High, no. You can see there's a trend. A downtrend in volume, but a rise in price. So I've shown this several days in a row. I think it's very, very relevant. March, you can look at the daily trends of how we trend. Uh, Mondays are usually green. Uh, Midweek, we kind of struggle. Thursdays are typically good. Fridays are typically uh, down or flat. April, feel free to pause and look. May was an exceptionally bullish month set us up beautifully for where we are currently so let's look at the overall averages of each calendar day wednesdays have historically uh, been a little bit negative or flat as you can see tuesdays have been relatively flat thursdays have been very good for us as an average so we'll see how tomorrow plays out a green day is a win so let's look at the short interest trend lines and see how they're performing and this is what we've pretty much been waiting on, which is an exit of their short positions. Let's see how today looks. So the blinds are continuing to go downwards. They are exiting or at least returning their short shares, at least the unused ones. We still have a very long way to go, but you can certainly see the trend of exit is certainly in our favor. Keep in mind one thing on the daily price action. If you're watching the one minute candles or five minute candles and you see those hard sell offs, keep in mind they want the lowest possible price before they cover. They're not going to buy at $70 when they can buy it for 50. So those hard sell offs are by design so they can get the price as low as possible before they cover. So you can almost look at them as a good thing because that means they are trying to exit their positions and gain the best possible price before they have to buy back in, right? Vortex data, they, as everyone probably knows with the hard sell-offs we had today, they borrowed 5 million shares and they returned 6 million. So there was a net borrow change of 1.1 million shares. So they are still up to their old tricks. Nothing has changed. Uh, even with the short interest going down, yes, they have returned some borrowed shares they've probably been paying interest on, but they have not used. 
but again, nothing fundamentally and my, from my perspective has changed whatsoever. Uh, there are still 92 million shares on loan and likely with the one or two day lag, uh, I can imagine that will grow over the coming days. Uh, volume was down again at 211 million, but that was uh, certainly okay. Short shares available according to Fentel, 3.7 million, and the fee has gone down. Again, a lot of what you see is the, the normal recycling of the short positions uh, where they're kind of stock surfing, slamming it down, resetting their positions. Uh, I do not see anything fundamentally different than what they've been doing. So let's look at the options. So these are the options expiring this Friday, June 11th. As you can see, a $50 strike is very, very important. You can see there's a conglomeration of open interest on the call and put side. So $50 level could be uh, a fight zone, uh, as well as the $55 level. As you can see, there is a lot of open interest, uh, especially on the call side. $60 level, you can see uh, a lot on the call side. So these are just crucial levels I've uh, drawn based on open interest, uh, kind of gelling uh, to see where uh, the battle zone is going to be towards the end of the week. But this is what makes me exceptionally bullish. You have nearly 130,000 open interest at the $40 strike next week, which makes me believe we will have a gamma squeeze, if not this week, next week. Uh, likely, if we can keep the pressure this uh, tomorrow and we stay in the mid 50s or even in the 50s whatsoever, if not higher, they are going to start hedging tomorrow and possibly Thursday, uh, further increasing the buying pressure. So we need to keep the pressure on. So consolidation today, I think, was fantastic. Bullish sentiment, 1.71, uh, certainly on the call side. Uh, very, uh, I just think it's fantastic news. Uh, we are still on the bullish side. There was a 5.2 million just in net premiums uh, traded today on the options chain. Uh, IV down just a little bit because uh, of obviously the lack of volatility we had today. Uh, consolidation day overall, I think it's a fantastic day. And you can certainly see there's a lot of uh, calls and puts uh, being put in for next week if you look at the dates on the right. Always fun to look at. This has not changed three days, 1400 uh, maximum level uh, per share, but certainly we are more bullish at the $55 level. Always fun to look at. Take it with a grain of salt. Let's end with a quote. Everyone wants to live on top of the mountain, but all the happiness and growth occurs while you are climbing. Andy Rooney. We have been climbing this hill. We continue to climb this hill. The satisfaction of getting to the top of the mountain uh, is what we're all trying to, but the lesson is enjoy the journey. Enjoy the ups and the downs, the drama, uh, the emotion that you go through each and every day. Because uh, it's all part of the process. It's all part of uh, building uh, a new you, quite frankly. So uh, I'm so happy for each and every one of you as what you've gone through and the money that you're making. Uh, stay strong, Abe. Stay strong, Diamond Hands. And stay strong, Retail Investors. So as always, I want to thank you for watching. If you found this video informative and entertaining, please like, share, comment, and certainly subscribe. It's a newer channel, and I would appreciate the support. But as always, I hope your life is full of green candles. Take care.